Hi athletes, my name is Caitlin and I'm an exercise science major. We're here today to help you get ready for basketball. We know you've been homebound for quite some time and we gotta get in shape for our next season. Make sure you have a basketball ready for you and we'll do some basketball exercises. athletes so we're gonna start by warming up we're just gonna start by a simple march in place okay we've got some of our Special Olympic athletes with us today that are gonna be helping out with our exercises super excited for that all right just a couple more seconds here and then we're gonna start with some arm circles okay Gonna start forward and just nice and slow starting off and then you can speed it up a little bit to get that blood flowing then we're gonna reverse directions in three two one and now backwards start off slow and controlled and then get some speed just for a few more seconds here in three two one. Now we'll start on our basketball drills. Get into a nice low stance. Get your chest out and get your arms out. And we're just going to slide back and forth. This is really important for our defense. We want to make sure that we can guard people when they're dribbling the ball. You might feel it in your legs, that's okay. You gotta stay nice and low. All right, perfect. Now we're gonna work on our rebounding. Everyone pick up your ball. And we're just gonna jump up in the air as if we're grabbing a basketball. Ready, set, go. Great job. All right, now let's put the basketballs back down. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do some quick feet here just for 20 seconds, okay? Ready, set, go. Move your feet as quick as you can. Move them. All right, five, four, three, two, one. Good job, everyone. All right, everyone. Now this, for this exercise, we're gonna be working on our ball handling drills, okay? This helps you to stay in control of the ball when you're in a game scenario. So the first one we're gonna start out with is just to wrap the ball around your body, like so, okay? So we're gonna do it just like that, okay? And you can keep going. And the more you get the rhythm down, the faster you can go. Oh, that's all right. You can go as slow as you need to. And this just helps you to be able to be in control of the ball. Good. We'll go for a little bit longer. Good job, everyone. All right, perfect. Great. Okay, now we're gonna do something called a figure eight. So we're gonna get in kind of a defensive stance here. And we're gonna have the ball, we're gonna wrap around this leg and then through the middle. Just like that. Good, perfect, perfect. And you can go as slow as you need to. And once you get the rhythm down, you can go faster. Good. I'm gonna go for about five more seconds. Good. Good job, everyone. Okay, perfect. All right, we're gonna do one more ball handling drill. So in a game scenario, when you're dribbling and you need to stop, you need to stop and be in control of the ball. 
right? So we're gonna practice that. We're gonna take two dribbles, and then we're gonna do something called a jump stop, where you come to a, a jump and you stop, okay? So we're gonna go one, two, jump. Good. And then you're gonna pivot, pivot. Good, and we're gonna do that about five times, okay? Okay, dribble, dribble, jump, stop, pivot, pivot, good. All right, four more times. Dribble, dribble, jump, stop, pivot, pivot, good. All right, a few more times, let's go. Dribble, dribble, jump, pivot, pivot, good, all right. All right, dribble, dribble, jump, pivot, pivot. Okay, one more time, one more time. Dribble, dribble, jump, pivot, pivot. Good job, good job. Okay, for our last set of exercises, we're gonna talk about dribbling. It's really important in basketball to be able to get the ball from one point of the court to the other. And so it's important that we know how to dribble so we can do that without breaking the rules. So at first we're gonna get low and we're just gonna practice dribbling with one hand, like this. If you need to look at the ball, that's okay. We just wanna make sure we keep control of it. Okay, good, now let's switch over and do it on the other side. Okay, good. Now it's important that we're also able to move a little bit when we dribble, and so we're gonna focus on moving right to left a little bit while we're doing that same dribbling. So, we're gonna dribble and we're gonna move. Dribble and move. Good. Okay, now we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna switch hands, okay? And go. All right, perfect. Now we're gonna kind of put those together a little bit and focus on dribbling between both hands at the same time, okay? So we're gonna do two dribbles, then we're gonna switch. One, two, 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 switch. Okay, good. Now we're gonna do that same thing, but we're gonna move a little bit with it, and that'll be our last drill, okay? So, we're gonna move, one, two, switch, one, two, switch, one, two, switch, one, two, switch, just a couple more times, two, switch, one, two, switch, one, two, switch. Good. Now, we're gonna get into our cool down part, okay? So, for this, we're just gonna get up high on our toes, kind of like what we were doing with the rebound earlier. And just get up on your toes and reach for that ball. Okay, so if you remember today, we talked all about how important it is to get warmed up, how important it is to be in a good defensive position and staying low and using our body, how important it is to be able to move the ball and handle it, and then how to dribble and move on the court. Hopefully all of these skills will help you as we get ready for some events that we might have coming up in the spring for Special Olympics basketball. Just a couple more times. And good. Good job.